All right, today we're doing voltage drop test on our fancy board. Um, first step on a voltage drop test is you're going to check your source voltage. Uh, we have 13.78 volts, so that's good. That's our starting number. Uh, first step is going to be if for some reason you're not getting power to light, you, you want to check to make sure that the light's getting power. Uh, it should have source voltage. It's 0 0.01 volts underneath of uh, source voltage. So we lost a little bit there, but not enough to be concerned about. And then you're going to jump into ground which this is switched to ground. You should have less than, the good number is less than 250 millivolts, but up to anything over 500 millivolts is what's considered to be problematic. Um, so we have 20.4 millivolts, so the ground is good. Uh, keep running down the wires to see what we're losing. It's 14.4 millivolts, so it's also under 500, so we're good. 13.6, also good. And 1.3 millivolts, which is still under the 500 mark, which is still good. That is how you check in parallel. Now, if you were to do series, you would take both of your test leads and connect power to power on the hot side, and it would tell you that's how much voltage you're losing. So 1.4 millivolts is how much you're losing on the power side. Ground to ground would be 6.3 millivolts, and then on your ground side would be 7.2 millivolts. Then you can test from here to here to make from the light you're losing. About 18.4 millivolts. So that's easy, you know. Um, next step is we're going to do resistance, which is measured in ohms. Um, first, you're going to want to disconnect power from the hot side. The low side, we're doing resistance across the entire circuit. So just keeping it easy. Um, you're going to connect negative to negative, positive to positive. And look at how many ohms it's producing. The about 15, 15 ohms. Steady drop in there. back in. Now, if you wanted to check resistance on things like, say, your light bulbs, you just negative to negative, positive to positive. If it's too high, there's either something wrong with the light bulb itself, so you replace it, recheck it, or you can check a uh, good way to check the uh, the actual housing that the light bulb's in. And then. That's, um, yeah, I have to check the specs on it, but I think that's probably good. And last step is to check continuity, which is to make sure that power is flowing from one end to the other. So, disconnecting power. Power wire in there. Ground. Should get an audible beep as such. And also, it'll tell you resistance. And that is the three most basic functions of the DVOF, digital volt ohm meter.